Hello everyone, I am going to talk on diabetes mellitus which is responsible for increased morbidity and mortality especially atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease, atherosclerotic cerebrovascular disease, peripheral arterial disease, aortic aneurysm, so on and so forth. I mean this disease is just like an epidemic and India is the second largest capital of diabetes mellitus. Basically, there are two types. One is type 1 diabetes which comprises 5% of diabetes population of our own country and the rest is type 2 diabetes for which you know the multiple factor etiopathologically operate. Type 2 diabetes for which usually there is one predisposing factor like your history of diabetes in either or both the parents or siblings along which along with you know certain predisposing factors like excessive calorie consumption i mean sedentary work culture and the other etiopathogenetic factors which operate in this disease are usually say beta cell secretory defect of pancreas there is hyperglucagonemia there is cerebral cortical factor there is renal factor i mean these are the omega octet which is very important in operating the etiopathogenesis of type 2 diabetes mellitus type 1 is usually caused by insulitis as a result of viral infection which is highly prevalent in the pediatric population like coxsackie covirus now the basic concept of management of diabetes is aggressive and intensive intervention at the very first encounter of the patient with the treating consultant the reason behind i mean the earlier there is intervention there is achievement of long standing legacy as a result of which the patients they are less predisposed to have microvascular and macrovascular complications basically by microvascular complication what we mean the first one is neuropathy like myalgia parasitica or carpal tunnel syndrome where the feeding arteries of the nerves are being involved in untreated diabetic patient and it takes only one year for the patient to develop this sort of neuropathy the second microvascular complication is renal involvement like you know there is start of albuminemia there are changes in the renal porosity and the disease is progressive and as a result of progressive disease the patients they have concurrent cardiovascular involvement like coronary artery disease